focusing on the product. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, look, we talked about this, the art of acting, mm -hmm. the inner life and all that, the craft of acting, and the business of acting. Right. What I was learning was the craft. Mm -hmm. I watched and I watched and I watched and I got better and better and better. And about six weeks after Mike's advice, I went in and booked my first McDonald's National. Well, that's one of the things that I think especially a lot of young actors and I had to learn and you had to learn is that you can go and get all your theatrical training, but once you get into the professional world outside of theater and you're doing commercials and television and film, there is now another craft and another art into doing the audition. And if you can't audition, no matter how talented you are, you're not going to work. It's a completely different technique. And yesterday, auditioning for the Sandra Bullock movie that we did, we had two hours of rehearsal in which we knew the material. We didn't sit around and pontificate about who was this character and relationship to whatever. It was about the technique and the craft of how we're going to craft this audition. Hairstyle. Hairstyle, <clears throat> clothing, movements on camera, how we're going to button it at the end, how we're going to start it at the beginning, whether we walk into frame or if we're already standing there. These are all very well thought out techniques, but when you see it on camera, it looks effortless. It does. Yeah. No, I had I had more fun yesterday. We, uh, uh, largely through Jody's uh, manage uh, business of acting skills, <laughs> uh, put us in touch with this franchised agent here in Tennessee, uh, Talent Trek, and uh, they got us uh, these auditions for a big Sandra Bullock movie that's filming in this area in the northeast of Tennessee, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Atlanta, Atlanta yeah. North Carolina, and uh, <clears throat> and also they're filming Army Wives in Charleston. It's one of the things we need to talk about with people who are in Oklahoma or Philadelphia, like I was. There isn't quite the impetus to get to L.A. or to get to New York that there used to be. Mm -hmm. I still think it's helpful. Oh, well, yeah. I, I think if you spend a couple of years in L.A. or New York, even if you go somewhere back to somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You go back season, don't you? Mm -hmm. You don't regret your eight years in L.A. Oh no, not at all. <clears throat> no. Not at all. It's like I was saying uh, that I read, read Linda Bazell's book, How to Make It in Hollywood, at 18. Hadn't been anywhere in that point in my life, and all of it was really interesting and fascinating because it was such a different world. And then when I was in L.A. and I was living it, and then came back and read it as you gave it to me the other day, thinking, Oh, I I remember this book and. It's like dead on, and you just have a completely different perspective to it than I did at 18.